back again. And I already did the, or demonstrated the HDR function. The other function I want to do is an, another noise reduction. Or if you didn't do noise reduction before you made it nonlinear, you can, this will be the first time you do it. Now the first time I did noise reduction, I showed you this ACDNR function. Now I want to do the other one that I've used that I have some really good success with, and that's the um, multi-scale linear transformation or multi-scale median transformation. They almost look alike. Let me show you what I mean. Here's the multi-scale media transformation. Here's the multi-scale linear transformation. So if it was linear data, you'd want to use it this one when it says multi-scale linear transformation. And if we're using nonlinear data, with, like which I have now, you would want to use multi-scale median transformation. They all they do the same thing, and they almost look exactly the same. I just wanted to make that one clear. Anyways, first thing you have to do is you take your image. And this is the one that I did noise reduction already. I used that ACDNR uh, function before I made it linear. And now I'm going to do another noise reduction on it. First thing I do is make that mask, the luminosity mask. Okay, it's done. And we'll bring it over to the image. And no, we won't. I'll try that again. There we go. And I'll minimize it. So it was out of the way, bring it out of the way. And in this case, we want to protect the stars, and the thing we want to do is the background. So I'm going to press the inverse button, and I'm going to make the whole thing not show up. It's still there. It's just not showing up. Okay. So what you want to do now is you have these, these little uh, uh, layers here. And we're going to leave it at um, the five, four layers here. So that we're not going to adjust. What we are going to adjust is we're going to keep it on diadeic, or whatever that word is. And we're going to come down here and we're going to do luminance first. We made this thing luminance. You can choose to make a target if you want. Like put, make a little preview and have it do a preview window. Uh, I'm going to do the whole thing. I'm just going to leave it the whole thing. The other thing you can do is you could press real-time preview, and that'll make a preview of the whole image in theory as well. It takes a minute to do that. Maybe I shouldn't have done this either. I should have just gone ahead and did the whole thing. That's right. It's not taking too long to make this. Yeah. Well, well, oh, there it is. Perfect. So now what you want to do is you want to come up here, make sure this is selected. You want to press noise reduction, and then you want to adjust the threshold. And the threshold I like to do, and I got this data from someone else, I think, Astro Dude. Astro Dude has an excellent, uh, excellent videos on how to do do this stuff as well. I'd re highly recommend uh, going to AstroDude if you haven't already. I'm going to click down to the second one. Again, you got to click noise reduction and then these high these highlights appear. Make that 2.5 amount 2.3 and additive. We're going to keep it at one or make it one. Go to the next one down here. Again, you got to press noise reduction. Now we're going to make this 1.5. Make this amount 0.25. Now, if you were really good and had all the time in the world, you'd probably you can adjust all this stuff. If it's doing too much noise reduction, I never have. However, I just left it at these defaults and choose whether I like the noise reduction or not. But this is where you'd experiment with uh, your noise reduction. Anyways, and this is your real-time preview of what it did. It looks like it did something, so that's good. So I'm going to close that out. 
real time previews and I cannot close right now. Oh, that's dandy. That's why I don't use it all the time. Anyways, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this little triangle and bring it over to this. Okay, I can't do anything right now because the real time preview is up. So we'll wait till the real time preview uh, gets done and run, um, done. So I'm going to pause you for now. Okay, I'm back. So here's what the real-time preview looks like. And now I'm going to close this out because I, I don't want to waste any time with a real-time preview. So we're going to come over here, press this, and now it's going to go do its thing. And this is going to take a little while as well. Yeah, if you want to do a, a preview, it's better to make a small preview window like I did before with some of the other functions rather than using the real-time preview because the real-time preview takes the whole image and it takes a while for it to process. So you can see how long it's taken even to do this. It hasn't started its iterations yet. Okay, so it's uh, going through and doing its processing. And as I said, it takes a while to do this uh, this particular noise reduction routine. I think a few minutes. So maybe I'll pause it again. No sense in having you guys wait around for this. Okay, it's done. We'll just click on it and see what we got. All right, let me scroll in so you can actually see this. So there's the screen. There's after the first iteration of the noise reduction routine. And I'll turn it off so you can look at it. So you can see what it did. I'll put it back on again. Okay. All right. Next, we're still not done. We're going to come over and change this thing down here from luminance to chrominance. Okay. And we're going to change the layers to seven. Okay. And then we're going to change these numbers. right here, just like we did before. So we're going to change the parameters a bit. Keep on noise reduction. And we're going to keep this at three. We're going to change this to one. And down here, we're going to change it to one. We're going to have second one, three, three, one, one. The third one, we're going to go three. I'm out. We're going to go 0.81. Down here, we're going to keep it at 1. And the last one, 3. 0.81. Oops. 0.81. Ah. 0.81. There we go. I'm having some tough time with that one. There we go. And now we're just going to come over here and press the triangle and see what this does. And this one also takes a, a while to do as well. So I may pause you. Yeah, again, I do these other functions uh, after I make it nonlinear. I I have a, just about four or five other things I do in PixInsight. And then I would move it back to uh, Photoshop. I do some stuff in Photoshop or finish it up in Photoshop. And as I mentioned before, the other thing I haven't added yet is the luminosity. And I would do that shortly. I'm almost ready to add the luminosity layer. And what do I do with the luminosity? I do some of the same things. I do a little bit of 
well, I have automatic background extraction, and there's no color neutralization because it's just luminosity data. And I may or may not do any noise reduction prior to making it uh, nonlinear. In this case, I'd probably do the noise reduction after I'd make it nonlinear, and then I then I'd combine it. Okay, well it's done. Okay. Click off this, and we'll see what happened here. Image undo. I'll really highlight it, or really move in so you can see what it did, and redo. Okay, a little subtle difference. So anyways, I'm gonna click this off. And I'm going to save it. I'd like to save all my work. I'm going to save this as M. MP. Multimedia Transform. Okay. And voila, it's saved. So Oh, one other thing, I gotta take the mask off. Remove mask, and I will save it once again. Okay, it's gonna say overwrite, yep. Yeah. And there it is. So let me just show you the other one. I, I, I was doing the other image, the one that I did not do noise reduction originally, and let's, let me show you what that one looked like too, because I did this same thing previously before doing it with this image. So that one came out pretty well too. I like how both of them look right now. Okay, so that's what you're up against. Well, this one appears to have a little more splotchy noise, but the noise is definitely reduced. This one, it's, the background seems a little bit smoother. And to be honest with you, I don't know which one I'm going to um, go with yet. So I guess we'll have to stay tuned. Um, I'm usually not this indecisive when it, at this point, but I've actually already done this image. and. So I already know what it's, it should look like, but I'm going to see if I can make it better on one of these two images. Anyways, that's all. We'll see you in a bit.